Good evening, Bono. My name is Vivian. I'm originally from Namibia, and I just want to say thank you so much for coming here today and speaking to us so candidly about Africa. And I was like waving and everything, so excited um, to you know hear about my continent and what's going on. Um, my question is um, mainly just thinking about the continent and thinking about the diversity that exists in Africa um, and how there seems to be this uh, Adichie single story idea of, of what's going on in Africa and one view of it. And I guess this is more of a personal question, but I'm sort of asking what kind of advice do you have for um, young Africans like myself who have just access to a world of knowledge and opportunities and want to be able to take that back without being condescending or without thinking that I know necessarily more just because I've gone to Georgetown or, and, and just really sort of thinking about how we can ease back into the African experience and um, assist people without being condescending, if that, if that makes sense. Yes, it makes a lot of sense. And uh, I look forward to meeting you when you are president of Namibia, which you clearly <laughs> are going to be. Um, um, condescending be the key word, um, not to condescend. It's very hard. Partly what we do is uh, raise the alarm, you know? We're the, we're the, you know and we have to, when there is deep injustice and crippling poverty, we have to raise the alarm because we have to raise the funds so people have to go and put the fires out. But we've got to be very careful about how we frame it because Africa is a continent, as you point out. It's not a, you know, it's not a country, and it's so many countries. And there's, I was trying to say this to, to, to tonight. You know, there's, you know, there's these roaring successes, and then there's, you know, these kind of terribly frustrating, awful, uh, intractable uh, conflicts. And it's not even like there's two Africas. It's like there's, you know, there's 51. <laughs> it's, 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 it's. It's a, it's really, I find it quite difficult because when you meet really smart entrepreneurial um, Africans, you know, Oswald Botang, I really admire him as a fashion designer, it's unbelievable. He talks to me about this. You know, you just gotta be careful because it's just very easy to caricature um, and, and this is complex. So I, and not wanting to condescend you, uh, will say, I don't quite ha we don't quite have the answer. And, and honestly, I look forward to the day when you, what's your name again? Vivian. Vivian will be holding this uh, speech, because I see the absurdity of uh, uh, Paddy uh, standing uh, and a lectern talking, because Desmond Tutu's busy. Um, <laughs> and I s serve you. And as I served, I was called to serve you um, uh, by um, first Mandela and then Tutu. And, and, and I think, um, you know, we're all called um, to serve each other in that sense by God or a um, sense of common decency. Africa, of course, is a, is, is a constant we, we pick on because the real issue that we're fighting with is extreme poverty, and it just so happens a lot of it's there. And, and I suppose the wealth of the continent is so, such a stark contrast, but I'm absolutely sure you are on, you're ramping up. And as regards your own role, I really don't think you need any advice from me. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to... I'd like to ask. I'd like to ask that everyone keep their keep their seats until the members of the stage party have left, as well as the distinguished guests here, uh, and the lecture fund ushers uh, will release uh, each role. So this is for safety and security I reasons. Could I just say one last thing before we go? My favorite singers here, Andrea Core, sitting right there, with her husband Brett. Thank you. Thank you.